Salute to YouTube family. Unfortunately, we want to show some news today concerning a topic. Mike Epps divorced his wife years ago, right? Now she's on the stream giving interviews to perfections about what's been going on. Now she poured out her heart on a recent, you know, situation live on air. We're going to go through a couple of receipts, but I also want to give credit to, you know what I mean, Gossip Girl XOXO. Because on her stream, she played a video of his ex-wife crying. Let me just play that right quick for y'all. And then, and still having sex with me. Ooh. Then then all of a sudden, now you're filing for divorce. You still was having sex with me after that. Mm. Okay. So now I'm, now I'm thinking that at some point it clicked. Not too long after the filing, I'm like, Okay, so this person is in a place where they feel like they want to do what they want to do. They file for divorce. Why would I fight for something for you? You not you're not being right towards me in your actions. Like somebody, and this is deep. Somebody sent me a DM two or three days ago. She was like, "Thank you so much." Uh, so I was in a relationship, a marriage for 18 years, mm -hmm. and he left me for a younger woman. She said, "But seeing you and you growing." Mm -hmm. I was just like, damn. Because mm -hmm. you don't know who. Trolling with people, women on Twitter and all that. Mm -hmm. And then I made a comment on that. Well, I did something just like some. All eyes right, looking. let's like, talk I about it. Did you guys see? Now, when you see all that, Section, they don't... you understand where it stems from. You know what I mean? It's not a situation to be brazen by it. I would say she doesn't say that still. Even me. Okay, EXO girl is speaking now. Salute to the beautiful queen. But you know, there's a lot of situations like that. Like when she went on Hollywood Unlocked, this is what she had to say about the situation. While I was with him, about that, most women don't get when they move out here. It takes time. You know, they go through a lot of things. And you're able to be with partners with somebody and watch their dreams coming true and see the process and the journey. Because mm -hmm. we had Sharif Fletcher here before, and she was married to Will Smith, and she was with him during the early stages of Fresh Prince and all that. And mm -hmm. so, also, like, that bitch that's always ready. Mm -hmm. You know, like, that did not um, identify who I was. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it was just, like, something that didn't work, work out in my life. And it's like, okay, so now we have to deal with that not being part of our life anymore. Mm -hmm. And so now what are we doing next? Mm -hmm. And I couldn't be doing the same thing. That's why you said, oh, you know, I don't see you out anymore. So it's like, okay, so now I'm divorced. So I'm going to... Talking about the journey of evolving in that relationship. Now, you see, she has a lot to say about that marriage. And she went on the evening showdown years ago to say this part. And the courts think that, too. <laughs> exactly. Which is why they favor with the way they favor. I mean, they, you know, it's common sense. That's how they figure things. It, it, nothing is just like, oh, we're just going to give you this money because you want it. And right. you want to wear lubes all day. No, it's not about that. Because when you know, at a certain point, it stops. It's mm -hmm. not like it's for the rest of my life. Yeah, because I think um, but with I learned this from a whole other relationship that I didn't know that you get the spousal support for a certain amount of years if you don't get married. And then you get put on a uh, social media real quick, and right. so and so clap, clap back. back. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I'm saving my clap back for my kids. Now, what was sad about this situation is Mike Epps' daughter also got involved in this because before we get to that, let's go to him and his new wife, who now the controversy is happening because they're allegedly saying that he cheated on the new wife. This is them earlier the month of July on the Tamron Hall show. Let's listen to some of the snippets. I understand you could have a second daughter. You're, what are you going to do? Well, you know what? I think it's such a, 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 a honor to have love around you. You know, it's it's my daughters, my wife, uh, my kids. We they all represent love, man. We we have a good time at the house when we get together. We we play games, we have fun, and I mean, you know, how can you get away from love? I, I don't care how much of it comes your way. It's all yeah. love. You know? Okay, they just told me in my ear because this is a real TV show, and your wife is a producer, and she knows you don't know the gender of the baby. That's I saw it in Kyra's face. She was like, "Wait a minute, how does she?" Yeah. You have not revealed, <laughs> and your face might have revealed. Been celebrating all this great news, Kyra. It's been amazing to watch you support Mike through his loss of his parents back to back. That is devastating. And when we say we take yeah. someone in marriage, they say the good, the bad, the hard times, and you were there and are there. 
and it was just like a big hit. And um, you know, you don't expect those things to really bring you to the point that it brought us, but we just had to really, you know, we had to be there for each other. We had to. Those are rough times, you know, no matter how much prayer, um, you know, those. Rest in peace to his parents, man. Some of these things, like when he spoke on the situation of the divorce, this way he had to say years ago when it was going deep into it. It's not who? Think so? Do you think? What are the chances you think you're gonna have to fork over that amount of money? No, that's all good. You know, ain't nothing but some paper. Oh, so you're happy to do it? I thought you were like, nah. We'll work something out. You know, she's a good mother. Yeah. She deserves, you know, whatever she needs to survive. She takes good care of my kids, and uh, you know, I'm pretty cool about. It. Fucking over money, it don't matter. I've been paying child support. For, I got a daughter, 22 years old. Right. I paid child support for 18 years, and now I'm still paying child support. <laughs> Spouse support now. It's all good. It's all love. You know what I mean? I work hard. You know, I want the best for my. I got a whole lot of boo things. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Some new, some old, some everything. So, but she, and she's she's one of them. Oh man, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> you ask me some police questions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mike, I, I see you performing in Abu Dhabi. No, nah, yeah, summer. I'm gonna be. You're gonna be, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have to like cater your routine a bit to people who are over there, or do you have to delete anything, or? Like and, uh, you know, all I got to do is talk about Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> True that. <laughs> Man, blessings to everybody, but I got to keep going with these receipts. Now, this is when the daughter did a whole, like, mini documentary in 2012 when she spoke out on a complaint that she filed against her father, comedian Mike Epps. Let's listen to her out. Bria Epps. wasn't famous at all. Like, I don't like when people tell me, like, oh, I wish my dad was here. I wish my dad was famous because it's kind of like it's annoying because I know that like it's not what it's cracked up to be at all and if I could change anything it'd be how my dad acts or that he wasn't famous at all because I think the fame has a lot to do with his behavior um, I really just hope that this will change his whole mindset I hope that you know instead of blaming me blaming my family he just you know it realizes that he's the one in the wrong and what he's been doing my whole life and um, I don't want people to think you know I'm just doing this because I want attention or I'm greedy like I said I've been doing this through this for 18 years if it was about attention or greed I would have done this so many years well, ago. I would have done it years yeah. ago <laughs> it's nothing about attention or greed it's just that I'm tired of being disrespected publicly I'm tired of being disrespected privately I'm tired of the disrespect period like I'm tired of um, wishing and wondering Notice the mother. and nothing ever happens from it. So I'm hoping that with this, you know, he it'll actually change him. Not necessarily to bash him, just I just want to be honest and show his face. Hopefully it'll change him as a person.